Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm going to share with you some really great um, more like fall winter or actually like winter shoes that I recommend from uh, Hermes. Uh, I do have a, a second pair that I picked up. I've shown you this pair of the style before but I ended up picking up a second pair. If you guys can guess let me know. Um, and another pair of shoes from Hermes that I wanted to share with you and these are both still available on their website and in boutiques. Just depends on what your boutique has ordered in terms of size run, but I'll go over that. Before I get into it, I'm going to share with you a brand called Vivaya. Uh, they are a brand that specializes in beautiful footwear. You've probably seen them online with other uh, influencers. I've seen Sophie Shohet feature them in her videos, uh, Maria Dragonova in her videos, and I think Fashionly Amy as well. I was quite intrigued by the brand as well, and they did reach out to me and kindly gifted me two pairs of shoes. I got to choose them myself and I thought I'd share with you what my honest opinion is of them. So these are the two styles that I shared. Uh, they are on both ends of the spectrum. They are these really great knitted shoes and the special thing about them is that they're made entirely of recyclable materials. So each pair of shoes like this, um, probably more for this because this has a lot more material, actually is made from six water bottles that have been salvaged from the ocean and we all know that plastics are harmful to marine life. They create a lot of microplastics, not only just to marine life, but also to us as well as humans. We are learning that these are hormone disruptors. So whatever product can minimize these plastics going into our waters is good in my books. So the nice thing about these shoes is that again, they've got like a soft upper, okay? The sole has a nice grip to them. They're very flexible, yet the heel counter, which is this bit, is sturdy. So it'll support your ankle as you walk. Now, the reason why I chose this style, they do have like other like ballet flat type of styles, but they have so many styles on their website. Um, this is like a Chelsea boot style, but it's not as high. And actually this has solved a dilemma in my wardrobe that I've been looking for for many years. As you know, I do like to wear trousers, um, stretchy trousers <laughs> from Lululemon or Aritzia. I've gone on about these trousers before. They're great for my work and how I have to move around. Um, very forgiving too to wear, but the length of the trouser where they hit me, um, you know, there's a I like when there's a little bit of leg showing. Not too cropped, but just cropped enough. But then anytime I'd look for like a short boot like this for the fall winter season, um, they'd either be too high that it would collide with the bottom of my pants and they just wouldn't sit or fall right or they'd just be too short and then like my ankles are bare and I'm freezing. So the height of these are perfect with the type of trousers that I wear and if you wear similar types of trousers and you kind of struggle with the same thing, this is a really great style to go for. These are excellent for work. Um, and the thing is, is that Vivaya uses this really great 3D technology where they're only using enough material that is needed for the shoes. So there is zero waste of material as well. And I thought that's really, really cool. They have different colors as well. I just chose black, but really, really neat. Very comfortable to walk in. You know, they've again, they've got like a rubber, like they, again, they've got like a nice sole on them and they're very lightweight as well and very minimalist too. Like they're great for work and you're not really worried about them getting ruined. Um, you know, as with like leather shoes, like I love leather shoes, but you know, sometimes I have to, like when we're in like the winter, fall, winter time, you have precipitation. There might be a little bit of snow or slush and I don't want to get my leather boots sturdy and I don't want to ruin them with the salt that's on the ground. So this is kind of nice and I can wear like a thick sock with it. These are on the other end of the spectrum. These are like above, they're so big for the, for the viewfinder. These are above the knee boots. Now, I've never owned above the knee boots. Like, you know, when they go over your knee and I was traumatized by Stuart Weitzman because everybody was into those boots and I remember trying them on several times, ordering them several times, but them just not working out. Um, they are really hard to get on, okay? And I'd struggle and I'd sit there with like my leg kind of getting into the shaft of the boot and not being able to go further. And if you have curves and if you've got thunder thighs like I do, 
um, it's just not not flattering okay that thigh muffin top like you know when the boot kind of hits you here and then you get that roll that goes over you know what I'm talking about it's too tight it's the thigh muffin top it's just not it's not attractive I just couldn't do it and like I wasn't gonna spend a lot of money on boots just for that over the knee look and sometimes I just crave over the knee boots because I feel like if I'm wearing like a dress or a skirt I want to be covered and I think it would look really nice. So it's nice that they have this style. So I risked it because I didn't get to try these on. I, I chose these online. They have like a below the knee version, which I think is safe for all of us. <laughs> but I wanted to try the above the knee version because why not, right? And again, it's this kind of like sock material, but it's got really good structure to them, but they're nice and soft as well. And even on the inside, I just noticed this because I'm like, why is it so comfortable? It's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a fuzzy material on the inside. So really comfortable. And the way that they're shown on the website is they have somebody wearing them with this kind of rolled down as well. So I figured, okay, in case I get that thigh muffin top, I can always roll them down and it won't be a big deal. But um, they don't give me that thigh muffin top, which is really nice. Um, so it keeps my knees covered, I'm warm, yeah, I'm stylish, so I have a solution for the winter. Um, and the thing is, is that I'm not worried about the leather getting ruined with salt and slush. So I've got a good alternative. I know I've, I've got a pair of sock boots from Hermes, the Volver boots. Um, I do like those as well. I feel that that material, if I wanted to compare it to this, that material is more stiff. This has a bit more softness to it yet it still has structure and good stretch without being too restrictive where you will get that thigh muffin top so i've shown mod shots in the cutaways i hope that you get a better sense of what these shoes look like if you want more information go on over to their website or check out their instagram they do have promotions going on all the time and i also have a coupon code i will list it down below if you want to get a discount and I'll also link to the boots that I chose. They have a ton of different styles on their website so feel free to go check them out. All right so I've got two bags from Avnets. I've got a white bag which is massive. These Their boxes are actually really heavy but I actually like getting them in the white bags. They did still give me a shopping bag but just look how nice the white bag is. I like to repurpose them. You know the holidays are coming up so it's nice to put like gifts and stuff inside. So, I really like that. So what I'm going to show you first is a pair of, I don't know if I'd call them boots or just sneakers. And going to them, I asked you guys to cast votes on this before and some of you had said um, that I should go for one style versus the other. So I've got some laces, some spare laces here. They're in white. And, gosh, I'm not sure. This must be for, like, the hardware on the shoe. And let's show what we've got. So here we have... <laughs> I did get the high tops. Okay, so... As you know, I purchased the day sneakers with the shearling on the inside. Okay, and it's got like a Kelly buckle and silver rubber white sole. So got the day sneakers. They were kind of ankle like low tops. And, you know, practically speaking, I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be wearing sneakers, I want my ankles to be covered in the winter. I'm only going to be wearing shearling lined shoes when it's cold, not in the summer. So it makes sense for me to get high tops, but for whatever reason, like just the low tops look so cute. Uh, anyway, so I wore them. Uh, it took me some time to sort of get used to them. I wore them when the temperature was still quite warm out and not warm, but it was cold, but it wasn't cold enough. And I was like overheating, they were really warm. And nowadays where we're still pretty above seasonal, it's not super, super freezing out, but it's cold. Um, and they're amazing and I get so many compliments on them like everyone's like wow like oh you've got fuzzy sneakers those look so cute and comfortable and they are really comfortable now that I've been wearing them they are extremely comfortable at first I had the impression that the sole was too stiff but they're actually quite comfortable now the dilemma is is that my ankles were getting cold 
So I figured, you know what? I should just get the high tops. Luckily, the boutique still had my size in store. And so I just said, you know, what? I'm going to pick them up. And these are going to be so cute with leggings. Um, even with like trousers that I have that are a little bit cropped, they'll go. But with leggings, I think these are just like a no brainer. I've been wearing those day sneakers a lot these days. So I really do recommend them. So if you are in the market to get uh, a nice pair of, um, you know, sneakers, cause I was thinking, well, I could just wear a boot, but again, like, like how I mentioned with the Vivaya, uh, little Chelsea boots, right? Like boots tend to be too high sometimes for certain trousers and like, I can't really tuck my trousers in yet. They don't fall properly over top. So it just, this is again, just the right height for trousers that I wear to work. So it's a great alternative and they're not super flashy. Um, really, really neat. So there is one, of course, you'll know what the other looks like. So I'm going to put these away. So here are the second pair. Um, they're also another pair of boots. These come in various different colors. I did purchase them in black. Um, in here, actually, I have some laces. They're black laces to go with them. Um, but these are called the Fresh Boots. That's what they look like. These are the laces that come already done up on the boot, but there are black laces if you want an all black look. Inside, they're kind of like this blue color. They're very lightweight, and these are entirely safe um, for fall winter. There's no leather on these boots. They're entirely rubber on the bottom, yet there is this, they call it like a parachute material. I think it's nylon or polyester, I don't know, but it's water resistant and completely wipeable. Maybe you can wash these, I don't know. I'm not sure if you can, but you can wash these. There is some, I lied, there is some leather on the inside here, but that's not gonna come into contact with the elements. Um, but it's for those days when there's snow and slush and you don't want to get your beautiful leather boots ruined by the salt. These are perfect. They're stylish. They're very lightweight, um, very comfortable, easy to put on. Highly recommend. They come in different colors. They do have a white, an all white pair, which I think are really would be scary. But to be honest, since they are kind of like a no fuss material. I actually don't think it would be that bad to maintain if you're looking for getting like a white pair of boots. Um, and they have like a blue color as well as like a khaki green color, which I think will be really nice. Um, if you're wanting a different color that's not always black, I think those are good. Those are still available on the website and your boutique may just have the black, but right off the bat, they're really comfortable. With both shoes, I took a size 40, which is my true size, um, which is a US 9 to 9 and a half. Um, with the, these uh, boots here, or sneakers, in both the low tops and high top, I went true to size. Usually with designer sneakers, I go half size down, but in this case, I just went true to size and they haven't become looser because of the shearling. You know how like it mats down, right? So it, it hasn't happened where they're the perfect size. Um, and in the Vivaya shoes, I also went with a European 40 and they are perfect. They're not too tight. They are pretty true to size, but, um, enough room that you can wear like a nice sock underneath. So these are, if you're looking for stylish designer footwear for this upcoming season, it's really like hard to be stylish and cute in the winter. And you know, I'm talking about like, not when it's like dry out, when it's dry out and it's cold, it's fine. But when there's any moisture, when there's rain, when there's slush and there's salt, like it's kind of hard to wear your nice things. So why not get items that you don't feel so, um, like you don't really have to baby, right? Yet you're still stylish. So these are my recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.